Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Unturned from the Gang Z server. In today's episode, I think it's high time we do some decorating around the house. We've got uh, quite a lot of space here, and a lot of it is just, you know, completely unused, other than some of these, like, storage wardrobes and... <laughs> and things like that. So I want to do some decorating today. I think that'll be good. Uh, so let's start off by grabbing, are these planks? Yeah, there we go. Let's grab some planks and some logs like so. And then I'm pretty sure I've got a saw right there. That'll work. And let's start off by making a few rifle racks. Here we go. Uh, so let's see. We're going to need some metal bars and five planks for each one of those. So let's see. If we go in here. All right. We're going to need a lot more of that stuff. And we're going to need quite a few more planks as well, which is actually good because it'll open up some storage space for us, and that's something we're kind of lacking right now. So let's go... Oh, did I just... What did I just do? <laughs> I, th I think... Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. So we want metal bars. There we go. All right, so let's make... Uh, one, two, three, three rifle racks. Do I not have, why, why will it not make me, let me make a third one. Oh, there we go. I guess it just didn't register the click the first time. That's all right. Let's pick that up. And let's see, where do we want to put these? I'm kind of thinking we want to fill, well, actually we could put a couple of them like right here on the wall, perhaps. Uh, kind of as you're going up the stairs. I think that'd be a good place for them. So maybe we put one like right here. One like right here. And maybe one right in the middle. There we go. And then let's grab a few of our rifles, which are taking up so much space. Like these. Uh, can I put crossbows on there? I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Uh, that goes there. Man, my inventory's just like a disaster. <laughs> it's so bad. There we go. So, let's grab this shotgun. Uh, looks like we have to do it this way. That's fine. So we can put that one there. We can put that right there, and it looks like it holds it just fine. And then lastly, we'll put that right here. And there we go. We got some guns on the walls now. Looking good. And I know we've got a lot more firearms and things like that spread throughout other chests and, you know, different things. So I think it'll be good to kind of clean that up as best we can. Let's grab a couple more bits of scrap metal and let's turn those into metal bars. Is that all of them? Did we get them? No. There we go. Alright. Now I think we're good. And I think we went through all of our planks there. This is all logs. Let's grab a few more. And then let's actually craft those. Like so. And let's make a few more of these guys. One, two, three. That should be good. And we'll put those maybe up above. Like, lined up, but up one little level. I think that'll be good. There, and about there. That looks about right. And then we can store a crossbow. We can store our sawed-off shotgun, which <laughs> looks really derpy. 
<laughs> that actually looks terrible. <laughs> let's, let's maybe not throw the, sh the sawed-off shotgun there. That just looks so bad. Uh, let's see. Where else do I have firearms stashed away? That is the question. Oh, there's a few. There's a couple of them in here, actually. So let's grab that one. We can put that sawed off in there. And... Uh, hmm. As for opening up space, we can probably do this. And then I think we should be able to fit that bow as well. Do I have any more firearms just kind of hiding in any of these chests? Everything's so... I don't want to say it's disorganized, because it's not entirely disorganized. But it's certainly not perfect either. Okay, we got another crossbow in there. So let's take that instead. And we can put those up here. We'll say... Take that crossbow out, or take that uh, compound bow out, put it there. Here we'll put our uh, sport shot, and then up here maybe we'll put one of the bows. Just so we've got, you know, a selection of weapons on the wall. Because I think that's always, you know, kind of a cool thing, just as a, just as a decorative piece, if nothing else. So that's all good. We still have some weapons in chests. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. I don't want to go... I don't want to spend a ton of time worrying about a couple weapons stashed away in chests. But let's check these other cupboards and just see what we're storing. I think it's mostly wood and sticks and building materials and stuff like that. I don't think there's a whole lot... Oh no, we've actually got a couple more guns over here. Okay. So... Let's make a few more weapons racks. I'm going to put those somewhere else, though. So let me do that, and I'll come back to you. All right, so we've got some more weapons here. I put up a couple of guns here, a couple of campfire axes there. Uh, all looking pretty good, I think. So next, I want to work on some other decorations. Let's actually eat a little bit of food here. Try and get our health and uh, or our hunger and our hydration back up. There we go. That looks good. Uh, our food stores are holding out pretty well, so that's definitely a good thing. Um, but I think I would kind of like to make like a little, I guess we would call it like a kitchen area. And I think for that, I'm going to need a generator, uh, which I should be able to make. So if we go, let's see, we're going to need a couple of metal bars, right? Uh, let's see. Yep, we've got basically everything we need except for four metal sheets. So let's go... Whew, I might actually not have... I think I'm going to have just enough for this. And we're going to have to turn that stuff into metal sheets first. But... We will have a portable generator, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now, the question is, where do we want to actually put this thing? And I'm kind of thinking, for now, let's just put it, like, right here, maybe. If I can, like, position it. There we go. That ought to be good. So, we can get that going. Uh, well, it doesn't actually have any fuel in it at the moment, obviously, but that's okay. Uh, this... We've got a couple of different gas cans. And I'm pretty sure these are filled as well. So let's fill up our generator. With gas. Wow. It... A whole gas tank only fills it one? Uh, only fills it 25%. Wow. I thought it was going to be more than that. Uh, okay. So, that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit better. Um, we should also probably look then and see what it would take to make a fuel tank. Looks like that's all stuff that we have, except we don't have enough of it. Like, I, I think we could do... 
I think the only part of it we need is basically more scrap metal. And then I think we'd probably be okay. This needs to get out of my face so I can see <laughs> what I'm doing here. Uh, let's try and grab some of this stuff. Can we turn any of that? Ooh, I can make a makeshift grenade if I can make explosives. That's interesting. Huh. Very interesting. There's a few different, like, weapons and things you can make. If I can get a couple more gas cans, I can make an industrial gas can. That would be useful. I can make landmines. Turn that into some things. I've got a couple of saws. I have way more saws than I need. Pretty sure I've got, like, several of them. I don't know what I need. I don't know if I need the hammer for anything. Uh, let's see. But I do have 100% saw in there. Let's grab this hammer as well. Maybe we can turn that into something useful. Oh, and I've actually got a ton more scrap metal in here. So we might not even need to do any of that. That's great. Okay, well in that case, let's see. So, for the fuel tank, we're going to need three cans. So let's go one, two... Those things require four metal scrap for each one? That's insane. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> wow. I did not realize it would be that much. Uh, I do have a third one in here, luckily. Let's see. So, what can we break down? We can break down one of those, and we can break down that. And then I'm still going to need... A whole bunch of other stuff, too. Where was all... That's where all the scrap metal was. Right in there. Hmm. I don't think I have a whole lot more. I probably don't need as many axes as I have. And I could probably take these two compound bows and break those down. Get some scrap metal for those. So that should be fine. And then... What else do I still need? I need three more metal sheets. That should be doable. One, two, three. And then we needed a couple rolls of duct tape. And I think that was everything, right? No? What am I still missing? Chemicals. Okay. Chemicals I can do. I just gotta find them. I know I have them in here somewhere. Um... Nope. Aha! Chemicals! And let's make an actual fuel tank. And I'm going to put that in the garage, actually. I think. Uh, facing... I guess we'll just put it, like... Back there in the corner. Just so I can fill this thing up. And then every time I make a trip, I can fill up those gas cans. And we should be good. I do want to make sure you can't see that sticking out of the house, though. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, good. So we're fine. No big deal. That should be good. So we now have a fuel source. We've got a generator upstairs. Uh, I'm going to keep one gas can with me, just in case I need it. And then let me just put some of this other stuff away and get organized again. All right, guys, I am back. So I got everything all organized and we're heading off. I want to hit up the gas station, fill up all my gas cans and hopefully try to add uh, some fuel to our brand new fuel tank. I'd also really like to um, hopefully find another fuel can and maybe if we're lucky a steely wheelie. So we're going to head to the gas station. Uh, let's see. Am I going the right way? I should be. Uh, I need to make kind of a leftish like that little bit more about there yeah that looks good i think our course is is set now <laughs> i think we're going the right way we'll have to kind of navigate around this tree a little bit but that's okay there we go i do seem to do a really good job of getting myself lost like yeah well we're still on course we're all right that actually might be the fire that's next to the gas station right over there and i am the only person online right now so, uh, nope, that's not the one next to the gas station. There is one next to the gas station, though. I know there is. 
And there it is, right there. All right, so. Let's park this guy right there. Oh, let's turn off the light so as not to draw attention to ourselves. Pull this out. And let's see what we're working with here. Let's see. There's a zombie right there. That one's dead. We'll want that. Give my arrow back. Flare. Carjack. Blue flare. No steely wheelies, though. At least not that I can see. Hmm. That's all right. Uh, let's fill this tank. And this tank. And I think this one's already full. Yeah. So that should be good. We'll be able to refill our... Uh, snowmobile before we head back so let's top that thing off fill up the gas can one more time I'm really kind of disappointed though that we didn't find a fuel can out here first time I've been to the gas station in a while and there wasn't a fuel can lying around that's too bad but either way we'll have a decent amount of gas stored away at home so I say we made some progress. But guys, unfortunately, I'm out of time for this episode. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.